you hope that people take away from the CRED Summit? Well, really what we tried to do tonight was explain how we're very different to the other influence platforms out there. We keep being lumped in with cloud and peer index and what have you. I think I want to have people take away that we're very different. We really do focus on the real-time aspect, the transparent aspect, and I think also we're doing so many different things. The, the crowd tonight, I think, saw what we're doing with CredNet and Cred for Brands. We're doing so many different things. Uh, the simulator, um, I think Cred is really a transaction engine that can do almost anything. And so I think the, the crowd tonight really heard what, what's coming up, what we're doing now. And what people have told me is that it's not just about the score. We did a demonstration in the room upstairs where we actually created the crystal score. And we proved that it's not all about the number. It's really where you have influence rather than what the number is. And I think cred is all about going behind the number. And that's what I, I think people take away from tonight. A cred score is wonderful. And the, the higher it is, the more vain one feels, right? But it's about actually engaging with your influencers, with your audience. That's how you get the maximum value. I think it's being engaging. Um, um, and also, in, and that means engaged with your followers, your fans, uh, not necessarily interjecting yourself into conversations that people are having about you, but being aware of them. I follow people that are kind of into the same things as me, that are funny, that tweet a lot, that are very active, um, that don't just kind of push out things, that actually have an opinion on things. That's really important to me, for somebody to actually have a voice, rather than just kind of churning out links or anything. That's, I think that's what makes somebody influential, having an opinion. Well, go back to what Seth Godin would say, someone who leads a tribe. So whenever they say this is good, uh, everyone in the tribe goes out and buy it or they, they blog about it or they tweet about it. That, that's an influence to me. Um, someone who just says things that, that, that other people want to interact with and who shares anything. It can be content, blogs, it can be a picture, anything that other people like to interact with. Understanding something, um, sharing that with people, um, that, that's basically it. It's knowledge, your expertise in a particular area. You know, support really. And you know, no man is an island. And it's, you, you, you can't actually achieve something completely on your own, in, completely independently. When it comes to media, you've got to have a, a kind of an army behind you really. And I think that ultimately if you analyse it properly, most people do have a big support network and that's what gets them to where they are. And you should never really forget that. It's mostly about what they have to say and if they're um, if they're credible in whatever they have to say. Influence doesn't necessarily mean the number of followers, the number of people you can get involved with a, and I'm going to use a, a celebrity term, which is a celebrity mob. That's not necessarily influential. It's about advocacy. It's about showing your passion for a brand. You have to establish credibility when it comes to things you promote because you actually really do use them as opposed to, oh, I've been paid for or approached by a brand. And then you have to show why you love them. And credibility and advocacy is associated with love.